Hey guys, I'm here in I-20 with Jalal, who has solved this week's riddle, so uh, take it away, Jalal. Alright, great. So I hope you guys all watched the hint video, because that was really important. Remember that uh, the maximum number of people that can survive is four, and then guy number five, the person at the very back of the line, has a 50-50 chance of surviving. Uh, so four and a half people survive, which doesn't mean that there's half a guy running around after you finish solving the riddle, uh, but you, you, you get, you know, fractions. Um, <laughs> So basically, um, what guy number five has to do is give some sort of information with his black or with his white um, that is enough that every person after him uh, has enough information to know what color hat they're wearing. Um, you guys probably figured that enough. But remember that black could mean anything and white could mean anything. Uh, black could mean I forgot to do my laundry and white could mean I love the TD dining hall food. Um, what's important is that that piece of information is enough for every person ahead of him. So um, what is that key piece of information? Um, it's kind of interesting because this has to do with a uh, certain, <laughs> a certain uh, thing that every number has. And you figured out um, this particular thing about numbers way back in kindergarten. So uh, some of you might be kicking yourselves in the head afterwards. What's important is whether the number of people with, say, white hats is even or if it's odd. Even and odd. It's that simple. Um, so if you're dealing with five prisoners, then person number five sees, say, one person with a white hat in front of him. One is an odd number. So he's going to give everyone a hint that there's an odd number of white hats in front of him, and he's going to say white. If there was an even number ahead of him, he would say black. So if there, are, let, let's do a case where there are two prisoners with white hats. Okay. That's an even number. So say person, prisoner number one, the guy at the very head of the line has a white hat, and prisoner number two, the second guy in line has a white hat. Mm -hmm. So person number five is going to see an even number ahead of him, and he'll say white. It's 50-50. Um, hopefully he doesn't get thrown to the alligators, because he's doing a great service to all Stuff the Stuff happens. Here. Yeah, it does, you know, if you're censoring yourself. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so person number four is going to be like, okay, there should be an even number of white hats in front of me. Hey, I see two white hats in front of me. That's good. That's even. That means that I must be wearing a black hat. Right. If I was wearing a white hat, then there would be three white hats, and he would have called out black instead of white, mm -hmm. right? And then person number three continues with that information. He says, well, I also see two white people, in two white hats <laughs> people in front of me. Um, therefore, I must also be wearing a black hat, yep. and so on and so forth. So all four people ahead of this guy survives. Here's where this riddle gets really interesting, because Max kind of messed with all of your minds at the beginning. I don't usually tell the riddle exactly this way. Um, he started out with five prisoners, and... Uh, when you tell someone a number, when you give someone a number like five, it leads them to believe that the number is yeah, actually yeah. important in the, some way. Yeah. It's not important mm -hmm. in any way. This riddle works fine if you say 99 people or 3,067 people. Like any number of people, this will work as long as you start out letting them know whether there's an even number of people or an odd number of people, which makes it really elegant, yeah. you know, I think. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks a lot, Joel. And uh, also a shout out to Yavuz Khan Aslan in uh, Turkey, who also emailed me. With the solution to this riddle. This is so, great. You rock, Yahoo's. And uh, <laughs> see you guys next week.